Today we're making low carb stuffed spaghetti squash boats that are so good you're gonna want to dive in head first. Ground meat, kale, red bell pepper and a bunch of spices make this dish extra special so let me show you how to make it. First off get two fairly small spaghetti squashes or one large one and then cut them in half lengthwise from the bottom to the stem or the other way around. Then take a spoon and scrape out all the seeds and discard them. Scrape off all the slimy parts as well. Now you have two options. Either place them on a baking sheet, oil them lightly all over and place in the 400 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven for approximately 40 minutes or add them to the trivet in your pressure cooker and add one cup of water to the bottom, seal the cooker and then set it to eight minutes on high pressure. A large spaghetti squash may take 10 minutes. In the meantime, get an onion and two cloves of garlic and peel them. Then finely chop the onion and garlic and set both aside in a bowl. Now get back to the chopping board and deseed a red bell pepper and dice it. And then get a bunch of kale and destock it first and then cut it into fine stripes. If your pressure cooker beeped in the meantime, then make sure you immediately release pressure manually, remove the lid, let all that steam out and turn it off so the squash doesn't continue cooking. Now preheat a large pan over medium heat and once hot add a drizzle of avocado oil and one pound of ground meat. It can be any meat you like, ground lamb, ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever is your favorite. My favorite for this recipe is ground lamb. Use a spatula to break up the meat and move it around constantly so no steam gets trapped in the pan. Once the meat is somewhat broken up, it's time to season it. Here I have one teaspoon chili powder, half a teaspoon cumin, half a teaspoon coriander and half a teaspoon paprika. Add that to the meat together with sea salt and pepper to taste and stir it in well into the meat and keep breaking it apart. Once the meat is nice and brown, remove it from the pan and depending on what kind of meat you used and what fat content it had, you might want to remove some of the excess fat. I like using a paper towel and absorb some right off the pan. Now add your chopped onion and garlic to the remaining fat and saute until translucent. At this point, add a tablespoon of tomato paste to the onions and stir it in well. Then add the diced bell pepper and stir for a few minutes and add the meat back into the pan as well. Give it one last stir and place the lid on the pan and reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for approximately five minutes. Now remove the lid and add the thinly sliced kale to the pot, put the lid back on and let it steam for another five minutes. In the meantime, place your pressure cooked spaghetti squash halves on a baking sheet and use a fork to fluff the squash a little. Now the filling should be finished and it's time to stir it all well to combine the kale with the rest of the ingredients and then ladle the meat filling into the spaghetti squash. Sprinkle about a cup and a half of melty cheese over all the halves. My favorite is a mix of cheddar and parmesan. And now place the boats under the broiler for five to six minutes for the cheese to melt and brown. Once it browned to your liking, take it out of the oven, sprinkle some freshly chopped parsley on top if you like and dive in. I hope you enjoyed this low carb spaghetti squash boat recipe video and I hope you're gonna give it a try. It's worth it. It's incredible. Incredible! You're just gonna have to take my word for it. I can't wait to see your versions. If you make it, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next one. Bye!